any of this yet. Just roll the interview. They have a Covadonga crusher. What he does is they, the Covadongas, when they have the, the baby Covadongas, of course, they also produce milk. That guy is catching the Covadonga. It's an, an, you know, it's an animal like that. So it's a very dangerous job because they also go in those caves that are really, oh, very difficult to reach. You know, it's, it's they, it's like those birds that have the nest for the snakes that they can't get in. Well, the Covadongas have a bit the same. But that guy goes there, he touch, tries to catch those animals to milk them. He milks those animals and then they make cheese over that. It's the queso de cabrales. And it's a, it's a green cheese, you know, it's a, it's a really like a stilton or you call that, mm -hmm. with lots of uh, things in there. And uh, it's very famous, but it's very expensive. You can buy it. In that region, Asturias, they normally give that also in the better restaurants, the one-star or two-star Michelin restaurants, <laughs> and they will give you that. But uh, there is also a um, possibility to have the meat of the Covadonga, but that's, that's almost impossible to get because there's only a few left. But that guy now, uh, I just heard last week that uh, as they needed more milk, so they sent him over and he, he fell down, about 30 meters fell down. And he fell on a Covadonga. So he killed the animal. Yeah. And there's only 13 left now. Yeah. Because there were only 40. Mm. And, uh, but by coincidence, they knew that it works. It works. <laughs> 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 so you know the story now.